three-year-old filly, Breeders' Crown Consolation. Let's kick it upstairs to Vance Cameron for the call. Miss Dynamite D. Back in the game after the loving. Fell of the ball, Emily's Angel Pickpocket Princess, top of the stretch. They're approaching a start. The rough end pacing back in the game. The first one away between horses after the love and on the rail. Miss Dynamite D third on the outside. Emily's Angel will round the turn fourth. Moving into fifth. Pickpocket Princess, the trailer. Off stride on the lead. That's back in the game. She's jumped it off, and Vario has her in the safety lane. Out of harm's way. Inheriting the lead after the loving for Jason Hughes. Miss Dynamite D is second. Emily's Angel third. From fourth on the outside is Pickpocket Princess. Back in the game. Back on the track. Fifth and the trailer. That is along the inside bell of the ball. 30 seconds flat was the opening quarter mile. They're midway round the turn approaching the 3-8 and there goes the inquiry sign. Race number three under an inquiry. Off the turn they come led by after the lovin'. Second is Miss Dynamite D. Emily's Angel continues third. Pickpocket Princess fourth. Fell of the ball fifth and now the trailer. That is back in the game. They're halfway home after the lovin' will get them there. Two-hole ride to Miss Dynamite D, the long shot. The half up in a minute and one. Racing third is Emily's Angel, fourth. That's Pickpocket Princess. Fell of the ball, fifth. Back in the game on the outside, the trailer. They move to the back stretch for the final time. After the love and extending the lead on Miss Dynamite D. There goes Emily's Angel to the outside, third. Fourth is Pickpocket Princess. Back in the game, moving into fifth. And now the trailer... That is Bell of the Ball. They're going by the three quarters. After the loving clear by four. Second is Emily's Angel. Pickpocket Princess third. Three quarters and one. 29 and four. Then went 29 and three in the third. And it's all after the loving coming for home. Now into second is Emily's Angel. Back in the game and a far outside third. After the loving and the blue knight, Jason Hughes. An easy winner in the Atlantic Breeders' Crown Consolation three-year-old Philly Pacers. Emily's Angel second. Might have been back in the game third. One, 59, two, under a judge's inquiry. I really like this filly after the love and Jason Hughes. They inherited the lead early on in this one as back in the game of Barrio made a break early on just before the eighth pole. Got to the quarter, 30 flat, down to the half minute, one fifth, and then the Blue Knights just let her rock and roll down to three quarters, 129 and four. Nice mile here, kicking home, 29 and three for a mile of 159 and two. They were not beating her off those early fractions. She is a super nice filly and she gets the job done here in the three-year-old filly breeders crown consolation emily's angel does get the deuce and back in the game rally to get the show spot but we are under an inquiry but it was after the loving and hughes we'll see them in the winner's circle in a moment judges inquiry and balls of break on number two back in the game After the Lovin' on her way into the third race winner's circle. They pacing Philly 3 by Carnivore from the Shady Character Dam Deliver Me. Owned by Windermere Farms and River Valley Management. Trained by Earl Watts. Jason Hughes picks up the winning drive. 
Philly gets his third in a row today, 159 and two, after the loving in the Atlantic Breeders' Crown Consolation for three-year-old Philly Pacers.